My name is Mitra Manesh. I'm a servant. I serve through teaching, coaching, consulting, or any other way that I can find to share what I know with those who want to know. And this Lights On podcast is one of those ways. It was created with consciousness and mindful living in heart. So join us as we travel through many roads of learning and transformation together. And if you enjoy our podcast, please give us feedback by rating us five star and share us with others if you think they may benefit from it. On behalf of my team, I thank you for your presence. This episode is about trust. I was talking about expectations in a class and a participant asked about what trust was. And I know that many of us use trust and love interchangeably. We usually say, oh, I love you and trust you, but they are not the same thing. The trust and love are completely different things. Trust is something that requires some um, effort and history, and love is something that can be exchanged just because you are, but trust needs to be about how you are. Hope this is helpful, and let's take a listen together. Based on what you were just saying, um, if expectation leads to disappointment, then what is trust and how do you create it if you're not supposed to expect anything from anybody else? Mm -hmm. Did I say you shouldn't expect anything from anybody else? That if you have an expectation, then you're setting yourself up. But I didn't say you shouldn't have it. I never said that, but but let me answer that. I know what you mean. I'm being I'm I'm being playful with you, I, Chase. I, well, by the way, I speak Mitra, so we can. <laughs> okay, good. I can play. I can play with you. That's okay. So I didn't say you shouldn't. I'm just saying know that you will. But trust is a completely different experience. Trust says so. People say I love you and trust you as if they're the same thing. Um, I remember I was talking to my kids when they were younger. I say love. No effort. My love for you is always there. Trust is based on an interaction or interactions between two people. It needs a point of reference. Believe it or not, Chase, it also depends on our expectations. So let's say I want to create a sense of trust between me and and, and you. We're, we're just met. We're friends. We're neighbors. We're whatever. And we want to create trust. Okay? So what I expect and what I call trust is very different than what you expect and what you call trust. So the first thing you do and you said how to create trust is to really come to an agreement between the two people or two groups. I, I do that work with um, organizations sometimes that they want to have a sense of teamwork, which requires trust. So we need to agree what that means. What, what does it even mean? What do you mean by trust? Because sometimes we have very unrealistic and romantic ideas about trust that I can tell you everything and I can ask you everything and you always will be there and you will never like ever. Anytime that there is like never and ever and always and, and all these words, we're going too far. So one, agree on what trust means. Two, Make sure there's consistency there, meaning if we agreed that every time this happens, that happens. My sister lives in another country. I give you an example. And and there's this um, thing in our family that we don't say the bad news to some people and then tell it to some people. They seem to all be comfortable to leave it with me. Anybody that gets upset or sick or even near upset and sick, they let me know. But somehow they've decided to protect uh, my sister from this news. And she called me once and she was very upset. I said, please don't be upset. Um, I tell you if something happens. She says, do you promise? And this was about 15 years ago. She said, do you promise that if anything happens, anything under this line, you will let me know? I said, absolutely. And until then, 
please don't play this like I, I, you know, fainted and I died and it was like the bad and, 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 and we agreed on that. That was a trust agreement. Anything above fever, I will let you know. And that created a trust. So that's an example. But we needed to agree on something. What do I like? I call every day and report on everything. What do we mean by, by exchange of this? So that's, that's the formula for trust. Trust is different for everybody. Agree on something and then be consistent on whatever you have agreed. And then it needs history. You need to have enough time with me to see I did what I promised you to do. Then you can trust me. We can like each other. We can have fun with each other. But trust needs history. It needs exchanges. So that's that story. Hope this episode answered the question or two for you or provoked and inspired questions in you. I'm so grateful you showed up and listened up. Until the next time, be well and stay curious.